I'm going to say to them, when it comes to Oxnard's downtown, you better get in because with Mayor Flynn, the downtown is going to win. So, sloganeering is fine, right? You can have, you can, you know, that might be a, a catch of some kind. But what people want to know about downtown Oxnard is they want to know if I invest money, if I take my savings or I take the savings and the capital of other investors, is that money going to make money? People aren't going to invest unless they're convinced that they're going to make money. And so I think when they see that new vision of that downtown, when they see that the six redevelopment properties that we're getting ready to put on the market, what those are going to look like after the city sells those properties, we're mandated by state law to sell those properties, that we're going to bring younger people to the downtown, we're going to bring single people to the downtown, we're going to bring people to the downtown that can walk to the transportation center, which is transit-oriented development, and most importantly, we're going to bring people to the downtown, a diversity to the downtown, that is going to have disposable income. If people come to the downtown and have money to spend, it's not going to assist the retail. We need people with pockets. We need people that have money, that are going to spend that money downtown. Thank you, Mr. Flynn. Mr. Flynn says, with Flynn, you win. What do you think about that, Mr. Spolbody? You get one minute. Well, Tim, with all due respect, um, I think if we would have won, we would have won already. Um, but. You know, at the, at the end of the day, it's about uh, you know what do we do to to attract those businesses? And you, you said a lot of the right buzzwords. I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's if you're going to open up a business in downtown, you have to be able to be profitable. If you can't be profitable, then you're not going to open up. But before we can even talk about that, we have to make the process easy for somebody to open up, and we have to streamline that. And that's what we have to really look at. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sepulveda. Now back to you, Mr. Lopez. One minute. What do you think about what Mayor Flynn said? I have to agree with my friend right here to the right that uh, if with Flynn you win, we would have already won. I'll tell you that I've talked with so many different business owners and investors from all over our community. I've met with folks from, uh, and members from the Oxnard Chamber. I've met with folks uh, who are members of EDCO. They have expressed their frustration simply with the city's inability to process their plans. Not even get their permits, but just process their plans. I've heard from folks that it takes up to eight months to just get their plans approved. We need to do better. We must do better. And when I'm mayor, we will do better. Thank you, Mr. Lopez. Now back to you, Mr. Sepulveda. You get your two minutes. This is your elevator pitch to attract new businesses to downtown Oxnard. All right, this is going to be very difficult to do, but I'll keep it brief. Uh, the city of Oxnard is the largest economy and has the largest population in Ventura County. We have a culturally diverse community. My personal business experience working with the Fortune 500 companies has proven that Oxnard is a profitable location. You can open up a business here and you will do extremely well. Uh, with my experience with PetSmart and Ross and opening up stores, running them here, they're very profitable businesses. They do extremely well. Uh, we have a well-educated workforce here that is dedicated and will do what it takes for those businesses to, to survive and to do well, to thrive. Uh, what we have to do here in Oxnard is continue or work, for, work towards making the permitting process easy so that businesses can open up in our community and especially in our downtown. We really have to embrace the revitalization of the downtown area. And um, I believe that Oxnard is a very strong economy. And as long as you have the right business model, you will succeed because the customer base is here. The dollars are here. People are willing to spend but we just have to make it so that they want to come to the downtown area. And that's going to drive change because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And if we think that we're going to drive different results with what we've done in the past, we're wrong. We're, it's a mistake. Thank you, Mr. Spolda. Well, he's taking us to the top floor with his elevator pitch. What do you think about it, Mr. Lopez? 
You know, they say that the first 10 seconds are perhaps the most important, and I can't say that I was necessarily uh, sold or even inspired. I do appreciate his background in business. I think it's a tremendous asset, clearly an accomplished record, and one that I too will look for advice uh, after I am elected uh, your mayor. <laughs> but quite frankly, we need to really go out there and reach out to business partners, stakeholders, and investors who are gonna have an appreciation for the richness of our cultural diversity here. Businesses that are a good fit for this community, right? And that's when we will be able to see uh, the city and downtown thrive. We really need to revisit also the, the housing element, the housing plan for downtown. What has made other parts successful, like Seabridge as a master plan, award-winning community, and uh, also River Park, is that they have the residential density to support the businesses. We don't have that here downtown, and that's gonna be centrally important also to really develop you know, uh, mixed-use uh, housing to really support the businesses so that our downtown can not only thrive, but be one that we are all proud of and happy to support. Thank you, Mr. Lopez. Mr. Flynn, one minute about that elevator bit. Well, I'd just like to add to it. Uh, I'd like to add that um, what we know has worked and is working in Oxnard is the collection of River Park. It's wildly successful. And ironically enough, the collection has presented a real challenge for the downtown. First and foremost, I was the only city councilman to vote against the exclusive theater agreement for the downtown. Because I believe that we need to get this theater up and running before we allow theaters in other places. But what do we really want to see? Why don't we use the collection as an example of what we want to see? I would like to see another rendition of the collection, but a more authentic version of the collection. Um, we know it's going to be very difficult to attract top, um, you know, A accounts to the down, downtown in the way that River Park is there. That, that is going to be very challenging. And in this case, it's going to be mom and pop shops that bring a, an authentic alternative to what is successful at the collection. Thank you, Mayor Flynn. Okay, well, I think we got through that question. Everybody got their time?